Okay, question 11. Clearly circle theorems. As always, pause the video and have a go if you haven't done so already. Now, this first part, part A, um, it's it's a little bit sneaky this. It's trying to maybe confuse you a little bit and think that this is to do with what we call what I call the bow tie rule where you have um, a circle and you have a chord and you any uh, angle subtended at the circumference or made at the circumference these angles will be the same but this is not the case here because this is not the circumference this is the center what this actually is is this rule where you have angles subtended at the circumference and at the center uh, those that know me will know I call this the Star Trek rule because this looks like a Star Trek insignia um, if you don't know that doesn't really matter what we do need to know is the the angle on the circumference is half the angle at the center okay so this angle on the circumference and you could possibly see that these aren't the same this is quite nearly 90 degrees even though it's not drawn accurately that's a lot less than 90 degrees difficult to fake that without having the, uh, a completely inaccurate circle drawn so W is going to be a half of 84 half times 84 which is 42 degrees for one mark okay part B we have some tangents to circle things we need to know about tangents tangents always form right angles with the radius of the circle so that's going to help us a lot in this question also we have two tangents they when they when they meet a point the distance between the point where they meet and the point where they touch the circle that distance there is the same as this distance here and that tends to give us this shape either we get a kite shape here or an isosceles triangle shape here this triangle in here is also isosceles because these two lengths are both radiuses so that gives us lots of information we can use so working out the value of x because this is 90 degrees 32 plus x is 90 so this is going to be 90 minus 32 which is 58 degrees work out the value of y this angle here um, because we lots of things we do here we could use this isosceles triangle where we just worked out x is 58 this is also 58 so that's 58 this is 58 and we could do 180 take away two lots of 58 and if we did that on a calculator we would get 64 or we could go the whole hog and do a um, kite where we've got 90 degrees 90 degrees um, that's a little bit over the top though because we need to work out this is 32 because this is isosceles then this angle and then a lot of work in there the, the easiest way is to do this isosceles triangle to get 64 degrees and that's four marks no, three marks what you know it's four marks <laughs> 